Okay, we're going to do lesson 12-8, Make Sense and Persevere. So a unit fraction, we know a unit fraction is one part of the whole. So a unit fraction, no matter what our denominator is, the numerator is always one. So if we have a pizza that we have cut into fourths, we know a unit fraction means one of these. So the numerator is always going to be one, and then we have to figure out what our denominator is. But if I cut it into eighths, cut it into fours first, and then cut each section in half, right? That'll double it and give me eight. A unit fraction means one slice. So my numerator is always going to be one, and then my denominator, I have to count how many slices total, and that's eight. Okay, so unit fraction always has a numerator of one because you're talking about one piece. So a unit fraction represents one equal part of a whole. Knowing how many equal parts are in a whole can definitely help you solve problems. So how many equal pieces or parts are there in the whole pizza? They're talking about if this piece was not missing. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could also tell that by every one of these denominators, right? The denominator tells us the total number of parts in the whole. So by looking at this, we can know that there's absolutely eight parts, okay? What fraction represents one slice? That's a unit fraction, so it's gonna be one out of eight. How many parts of the pizza are missing? Okay, out of the eight parts, how many pieces are missing? One. So the fraction of the pizza that remains, how many one-eighth pieces are left? Count those up and write that as a fraction, the part that's left. So pause that, write it, and come back. Should be seven-eighths are remaining. Okay. Here's where in our word problems, a lot of times we have too much information and we have to decide that we don't need that to solve the problem. So Carla has an art class three days a week. Carla draws a large circle. She divides it into six equal parts. She colors, so we know our denominators are gonna be black, I mean, gonna be six, right? So the black, out of six, she colors two of them black. For the gray, out of six, she colors two of them black, and the rest are white. What fraction did Carla color white? Well, we know our denominator is going to be six for the white, but we have to figure out how many six. Well, we have six six total, right? So if we draw our circle and she colors two of them black and two of them gray, how many are left? That's four out of six, so how many are still left that could be white? Would be two out of the six are white, okay? So is there, okay, is there any missing or extra information? Yes, how about the fact that she goes to art class three days a week? That really doesn't help us at all and it has nothing to do with it. So that would be extra information or what we can call TMI, too much information. So, we kind of solved it up here, but the circle is divided into how many equal parts? Write that down. How many equal parts is that circle divided into? It should be six. Each part of the circle is one sixth. So, how many parts are black? Write that right there. How many parts are gray? Write that right there. And so then how many parts would be left? So you should have Two parts are black, two parts are gray, and two parts are left over. If there's six equal parts, those three numbers should equal six. So we have one-sixth plus one-sixth, and two copies of one-sixth would be two-sixths. So therefore, two-sixths of the circle is white. Okay, five friends go to a party that lasts two hours. They cut a melon into 12 equal pieces. All right, we got our melon. 12 equal pieces, okay? So first I'm gonna cut it into Well, I can cut it into fours 
and then cut each section into three parts. I think I'm going to do six, six and six. Um, so we'll start with doing three and three like this. Okay, so we'll divide it into three equal parts on each side, right? So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can cut each part in half again. That'll give us 12. Cut that one a little wide, but that'll be okay. So we cut the melon into 12 almost equal parts. Luckily, we're not building a building right here. Um, what fraction of the melon is left over? Oh, wait, we got to back up. They cut a melon into 12 equal pieces. They each eat two pieces of watermelon. Well, how many people eat two pieces of watermelon? Five friends. So five friends eat two pieces of watermelon. Okay, so we can do... 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, because that's the five friends each eating two parts. Or what multiplication problem can I do for that? Five groups of two. So they eat a total of 10 pieces, right? I could also go, okay, five friends each two pieces. I can go, all right, this is one friend ate those two pieces. Friend number two. Friend number three. Friend number four, friend number five, and that's it. That's five people eating two pieces each. So how many pieces are left over? Two pieces left over, right? What is our denominator going to be? How many pieces total were there? Twelve. So two twelfths of the pizza, or the melon, is left over. Was there any extra information that you did not need? How about how long the party lasts or that they were at a party, right? The fact that the party was two hours, did that have anything to do with them eating the melon? No, it did not. All right, good job. I will see you tomorrow.